contribution to it is that it will significantly redefine both the service delivery system and the payment methodology for behavioral health care services, primarily for Medicaid and the stakeholders involved. Thanks for the question. I'm going to put you on the spot for a second by asking you to introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Dennis Roberts. And you're from? I work for a nonprofit organization, Resources for Human Development. Great, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so, uh, uh, under an authority Congress provided a year and a half ago um, to 24 states to start building better systems of care. I think, Roger, it's a little early to kind of prognosticate on to what those will bring, but we're really, really happy to have the chance of working with... My question is more of a broad general one. Um, you know, looking at, you know, Medicaid and beyond for 2016, the Medicaid population, you know, you know, make better choices when it comes to determining their care. Sure, sure, thank you for the question. Um, we have in CMS two core measure sets that we've developed, one for children um, that we established in 2011 and one for adults um, that's more recent. 